has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you 
finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seeds. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Considering the construction of a new drone base just north of Chumash and Fort San Kudo, citizens express outrage. I'm expressing outrage. See? I'm holding a sign. Many say that the drone program improves our civil liberties. They'd much rather send hillbillies to their death overseas than be protected cheaply by a robot. Others say, sleep tight, America. Tune into some reality TV and ignore everything going on around you. Babylon!
telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, two point seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. <laughs> Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. They'll stop eventually. Let's do this! Let's get him! How you doing, T? We gotta hang in there. Stick with them, they gotta stop sometime. Driving into Polito Bay, traffic might slow them down. I'm on them. They all have driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Frank's still on them, the dickheads probably want him to stop and take the heat. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off.
They're pulling over! So weak! Stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely uh, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! And you, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. <laughs> I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Big Horn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I, oh, I think I love you. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. Yeah, the haters, yeah, the 
I'm a jet pilot, asshole! Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. 
Anyway, what's up? Hell, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, up a little down, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls. But, but I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. There's a part of me, Doc, and I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. reached Molly Schultz's messaging service. Leave your details and a member of the team will endeavor to get back to you. This is a fine automobile! Ah! Eliska's present. Sunshine, blue sky, blue arc. Go. 
God is alive and God is real. God is not naughty and God is not dread and God is not tough and God is not rough. Well, money is the devil. You make you have no more conscience and if you have it, people hate you and if you have it, you make men greedy. his ways. Who says chivalry is dead? I only wish more people were like you today. Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. I'm putting your ass in the cage. Man. 
You here for the ride along? Jump in. Ride along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Sounds good. We're gonna go see my pal. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor, or a writer, or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal, and your boss has kinda sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're gravy. So, um, uh, and then? And then what's happening? And then? Ah, spoiler alert, kid. We kill the witness. Yikes. Me? Don't sweat. The dying ain't the hard part. The hard part is the ground you're hitting at terminal velocity. Right, right. There he is, over by the oil derrick. Let's see if we can scan him. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll follow the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me! Uh, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, oh, please! We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky you can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Huh? We gotta keep looking! True guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. We ain't found them yet. Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of here. Roger that.
not him, dog. I hope this motherfucker in here. We got a guy. Standing over by a row of cars. Middle of the floor. Let's see what the fuck he's doing. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker. Attention, all We've got a 
I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! 